Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my gold and silver update. I'm JR. Thank you for joining me. We're going to do a quick analysis here on both gold and silver, Dow Jones and the U.S. dollar. I also add in platinum. I do want to give everyone a heads up. Going forward, we're only going to do one minute videos, and uh, that one minute video is going to have whatever it is that I'm analyzing. So if I'm if I'm doing an uh, if I'm doing a technical analysis on gold, it'll be a one minute video on gold, a one minute video on silver, the Dow, and so on. Right. So no more are we gonna do the uh, the five video. I mean the five analysis in one video and a five or six minute video. We're gonna try to do three or four videos uh with again with whatever pair it is that we're analyzing okay so just wanted to give you guys a heads up this will be the last video where i'm gonna put a couple of pairs together in one video okay uh we'll take a quick look at the gold market again not too much time to spend on this because again the market really just doesn't get any prettier than this i mean just what a beauty let's clean this up here and let's just look at this let's 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 enjoy this right uh the gold market and the commodities market in general have been taking quite a beating here in the last uh, seven or eight, nine, nine years. I think uh, as of 2016, we kind of really stopped trading. We just really traded sideways. So if you look at uh, what happened over here, let's say we found the floor here in 2015. And then between 2016 all the way up to uh, 2019, really just you were capped here and you were building some sort of a triangle here or some sort of squeeze. You have a huge breakout to the upside. Obviously, we've always said it. A move uh, out of this area here was going to be a big move. Uh, when you have a market that moves sideways for so long, the breakout to either direction is usually big. So this is exactly what you had. You had a, a market that was really just stagnant since 2013, kind of found its floor. We saw a little bit of a break, a false breakdown here. But all in all, the market continued to go sideways and finally it broke out. Huge breakout. I mean, we've seen the market go from 11 and a half all the way up to 17. So we're, we're looking at actually a $500 move within a year and a half. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal move to the upside. And again, you do have to enjoy this because again, the market does look like it's gonna continue to go higher. I think with the outbreaks of the corona and nothing stopping this thing. Yeah, you had a little bit of indecision last month, um, but all in all, the market still looks very healthy, right? If we look at this, I mean, this is how I trade my charts here. Obviously, we have a big breakout candle. This is my box here. If the market comes back in here, you want to buy and you want to take this to the next level. We can clearly see here that we have a very nice uh, pattern here where your highs and lows are both getting higher, right? So high right here, higher high, low, low, and higher low. So again, your highs and your lows are getting higher. And now I feel that this is what we're gonna see. We're probably gonna see a low something like this. So I'm hoping, I, I would love to see the market come back down here. This is what I would love to see. And then the market continue to go higher. That's That would be the best scenario. Uh, another scenario is that the market just continues to go up and this is just a continuation pattern on the high side. But ultimately, this is what I would like to see. I would like to see this pattern here. We'll see what happens. But again, not, not really too much to report besides the fact that everyone should be very, very excited about this market because it just looks like it's going to continue to go up. Technically speaking, it just looks very sound. And if you look at uh, the fundamentals, that, you know, the fundamentals has been screaming by for the last three or four or five years. So um, anyway, let's look at silver. So silver, again, this is your box. You have a huge breakout candle here. The only thing I don't like about the silver chart is these candles. I don't like this many candles. I typically like to see uh, three or four candles, no more than that. Currently, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is your seventh candle that we're in. Again, this is a monthly chart, so it is a little bit slow going. But again, ultimately, we are back in this uh, candle here and you are allowed to buy within this. I'm sorry, within this box and you are allowed to buy within this range here. And you look to take this thing to 21, 22. I think ultimately we're going to test this level here, the $21 range. And then once we break out of that, I think it's going to be a wrap. I think silver is going to shoot up pretty high, maybe to the 27, 30, 35 dollar range here very, very, very quickly. So I'm very, very, very excited about this market. I'm very excited about price action. There's really nothing in this market that you shouldn't be excited about. Uh, and again, I do predict that the market is going to uh, maybe find a floor somewhere around here and then go to the next level, which is here, surpass this. And then it just it was, it's just going to do what gold is, is doing. And eventually um, silver will, will outperform gold. 
uh, here's a goal, here's a, a ratio chart, and we can see that this ratio is just, we are trading at a multi-year high. Last time we saw this was back in 19, um, 1990. I would say this is the zone to get rid of your, your gold and buy some, some silver. I think this is the area where you do it. I like this area. Let's look at platinum. Same thing with platinum. Very similar to gold, I, um, I'm i sorry, to silver in its ratios. I think uh, platinum, again, I think uh, if you've been watching my videos, you can see what's happening here. Um, let's clean this up a little bit. Again, you had a big candle here, but I think we're getting close to it. I like platinum a lot right now. Uh, and we'll see how this thing progresses here in the next coming days. Um, but again, ultimately, I like platinum because platinum is exactly at its buying range, right? So again, you have the breakout here. You have a few candles. You dip back down. And now we're looking for the market to go higher. Let's look at the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones back to 26. Um, it's coming back uh, full force here. I'm hoping that um, the Dow will come over somewhere around here. I really like this area to sell, um, although I'm not going to sell until we get another, until this thing comes in here, trades in here for a little bit, and then gives us another nasty candle like this. At that point, I'll sell. Uh, but again, I I'm not really anticipating this thing to, to, uh, to go too much further. I think this market is very, very heavy, and I think it's due for a huge correction. So let's see what happens. And uh, besides that, that's about it. I think I put in uh, the gold, silver, platinum. Yep, that's it. Oh, yeah, why don't we add the uh, the U.S. dollar here. And the dollar, let's look at the weekly chart, right? So, again, the dollar is still finding some resistance here um, just underneath this uh, long-term trend. And, uh, again, it's back down trading underneath this level here. So, we'll see. I think if it breaks 93, 96 in, uh, in a quarter, I think uh, I think that'll be the confirmation that we needed that this market is going to continue to go lower. But again, as you can see, it's taken a long time, two and a half years for this thing to do this. And again, it's very slow going, right? It is moving on a nice uptrend. But again, now you might have a double top. If you have a double top, then this thing is going to tank. But, um, you know, ultimately nasty candles here still. But again, uh, preceded by these uh, bullish candles. So uh, right now, the, uh, the what we need to be keeping an eye on is this level here, the 100 level, and the 96 and a quarter level, okay? Pay attention to those levels. Even with this market going up, so was gold. Even with the, with the dollar going up, gold was also going up. So I think uh, eventually the gold market will, um, will uh, break this sort of of a positive correlation that we have going on and i think ultimately we go much much higher on gold hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you guys next time